Hey, here we are at Phyllis Diller's house, who is like my comedy god. I love her so much. She paved the way for me and lots of other women comics. So she's going to make me lunch today, so I'm very excited. Let's go in. Oh, Hi. Hello. Uh, hello. Boy, fancy meeting you here. Oh, my Hi. God. How are you? you I, li I, I live here, Roseanne. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <You> silly girl. <laughs> Oh, I yeah. love your house. It's the most awesome house. Spaghetti. What are you making? A, a spaghetti. Well, I'm going to start with olive oil, wouldn't okay. you? That's a lot of olive oil. Oh, I know. Oh, I like it, though. Now, this is an extra virgin. Like, we need an extra virgin around here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are we doing? Let me see. But if this splashes, we're in trouble. Oh, step away. You, you better not do this. I can do it? She says she can do Watch. it. Watch. You think it's gonna splash? No, is that what you're but saying? you know there's paper under it. All right. Now, now, now give me this. All we gotta, right, all right, I'll we gotta, step away. We gotta quickly do this. Okay, we're smushing it. We're smush, what do you call it? Smushing. Smush, do a lot of smush. Smushing it up. Okay. Have you ever caught on fire while you were cooking? Not me. I have. But I caught on fire while I was cooking. So you caught on fire? Yeah, a few times. Are we gonna cut onions? Yes. It doesn't make you cry or anything? No, I don't cry. <laughs> well, I can do it really fast if you want me to. Can you, you don't trust me or something in the kitchen, do you? Do you? Well, I'm are, good. Are, there goes I swear to God, good. I'm good. Five right. kids, I'm She good. says she knows how to cook. I, I do. Know. Caught on fire three times. Well, I yeah. Caught on fire. All right, just all? Yep, all of it. Now what do I do? Bring the board back and do the Yes, ma'am. Oh, boy. I feel like you're going to spank me if I don't do it right. Now, how big do you want these? About like the others. So it's ground beef, so far, onions, mm -hmm. and green pepper. And the pound of olive oil. Now we're going to put in the tomatoes. What, it's just diced? Diced tomatoes. I say tomato. That's tomato paste. Mm -hmm. What about the, uh, these mushrooms? Should the I oil. drain them? No. No. We need liquid. Now we're going to do the spices. Oh, and, I can't wait to see the spices. And the wine. Put a whole bunch. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think that was about That's normal. some Merlot. Now this is oregano, Italian oregano. You're guessing how much, right? Cayenne pepper. Ooh. This is onion sauce. That's good, just use the, the bottom of the spoon. Whatever, whatever it's handy. <laughs> Basil. <laughs> it still looks good though. Ooh, uh, now, you're gonna... I start. got this spoon, I'm gonna stir it. Oh, this will work then. Okay, yes, mother. Ah! Now, what we have to do is... What? Do the garlic bread. This is real butter, and I always leave it? my butter out. These are little things I, I always do. leave my butter out. Good for you. Otherwise, how in the hell are you ever going to spread it? You're not. Mmm. That's cool. Paprika on butter. That's thick. That, that's so where's the garlic flavor then? I oh, forgot the garlic. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, okay. Are you not going to do that with your fingers? No, no. Okay. This goes in broth. Now, we go into my little veggie garden. Oh, cool. And we're going to pick fresh lettuce for our salad. Isn't this beautiful? It's very beautiful. These things are actually beautiful. growing. Oh, look at it. It's real lettuce. I'm not too good at leaning over. See, here, now, look. Here, I'll do it. Can okay. you pull that yeah. up and out of the ground? Yes, ma'am. It looks like a pretty good one. Ooh, it's a real good okay, one. Shake it up. And oh, that's nice. We did it. it. Yeah. Can you get up? <laughs> yeah. if, if I were down there, I couldn't. So there. <laughs> That's the acid test, isn't it? And we get, yeah, it's the acid test. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Isn't it good? Mm. I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> I have a garden. That's the sweetest thing you could say. You have a nice life. You started different aspects of your life, too. That like 15 years, mother, housewife, children. Mm -hmm. Five years out in the world. Copywriter. Mm. Then the other thing, showbiz. Well, you went touring around the Midwest a I lot. Went, look, I, I went door to door. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. What's the smallest audience you ever played in front of? These are nasty memories. <laughs> One, two, three, four, 
six people sitting in a booth, and the one in the middle, the guy, while I was on, just talking, uh -huh. threw up. And then his head fell into it. I, I will never forget it. No, how could you? That's bad. There, there we are. You learned to play the piano when you were a kid, though, right? My mother's dream was for me to be a pianist and an old maid school teacher. <laughs> really? Of course. In those days, the only decent thing for a girl that looked like she might be too ugly to ever get married. <laughs> Is that what you thought, that you were too ugly I to ever get married? I think that's what my parents thought. <laughs> <laughs> you were like the first person that had plastic surgery and talked about it, and that was all hush-hush. That I know. It, it was as if it were something bad. Like plastic surgery is like a betrayal of feminism and womanhood. Because you have to be either all body or all mind. It can't be both. Because that you have to cover. No you have to cover the smartness, especially with men. Yeah, they were like, no guy likes a smart girl. No. Well, they do. You see, my great romance, that guy adored my smart. That's cool. Oh, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that cool to finally yeah. meet a guy that likes you because you're smart? He loved to hear piano music and beg me to play and wear that black negligee. While you played the piano? Oh, yes. Oh, that's sexy. Uh, well, he was terribly handsome. Oh, so did you marry him for looks alone or what? A sex. You married him for sex? Yes. Oh, that's great that you're like that. Are we ready for that? Oh. Or should I do the noodles now? Yeah. Okay. I may come back for seconds. Oh, all right. Okay. To eat this. This is a real eating. How oh. good is this? You have outdone yourself today. You need more sauce. I'm so stuffed I can't eat anymore. Okay. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. I keep eating too. <laughs> I'm stuffed, but I keep eating. <laughs> Do you quit eating when you're full? Mm-hmm. What's that like? <laughs> <laughs> Are you a sex maniac? Yeah. All right. Uh, I had a, a secretary that she and I decided, if you don't like food, you probably don't like sex. That's exactly what I say about all those skinny bitches. I'm like, you know how they are. I love to have sex while I'm eating. <laughs> I would. I haven't, I haven't ever told anyone that. But have you ever done it? No. Because I'm repressed. Like You're repressed? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Thank you so much for letting me come here. I love you. You're a genius. You're brilliant. And I'm just so honored to be eating your stuff today. Mwah. And I'll see you soon when okay. we have our girl party. All right, honey. Have fun on your trip. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.